Okay, so if you could tell by the title, Fabian and I have come across a little bit of an issue. If you guys are living in the SoCal area, you'll know that it has just randomly gotten super hot, which makes sense because it's summertime. Our house just isn't dealing with that very well. Hi, baby. No. Hi. Because the last in the last three days, we have found three spiders. Yeah, and I'm talking spiders. Like big spiders, not small spiders. I don't mean those little skinny ones that are like a pea size and then have like monster legs. No, no, no. No, no. big spiders, like big a spiders, black like widow. The body size of a quarter and then like gigantic legs with little hair. This has become a little bit of an issue for us because of the fact that we have babies. And you know what? If I get a spider bite, I would really not like that, but whatever. But if my baby gets a spider bite, that's an issue. So, because of the fact we have so many spiders and so many bugs, like, trying to come into the house, and it's not because we have a dirty house, it's just because of the fact that we live surrounded by orange grove trees. If you know, if you don't know this already, this house is, a, like, a part of the property of my dad's house. So my dad has the same issue at his house, except way less, because he at least has, like, grass and, like, concrete surrounding his house in between the house and the groves. But we're like just right next to groves, so because of the fact that it's super hot and bugs like to come out and play when it's hot, and we're right next to orange groves, we've seen spiders, we've seen ants, ants has been an issue, and just we need to... And the worst was last night. <laughs> this is a funny one because it didn't happen to this me. This was not funny. I went to bed. We were going to bed last night and we like to relax in the bed for a little bit before we go to sleep. And I feel a this was bug on my arm and I freak out. And I think it's just a fly because we have flies too. And so all of a sudden I feel this bug on my arm and I'm like, oh, it's a fly. I turn my flashlight on, I look at it, it's a, it's a water bug. If you don't know what that is, that is technically a cockroach. So there was a cockroach on my arm and that's when I just put my foot down and I was like, no, tomorrow we are raiding this house and no more bugs are gonna come in. Realistically, more bugs are gonna come in, but at, not at this amount. We have to do something about this. Let's go be chunky. It, that was hilarious because it didn't happen to me or the babies. So. That's really mean. <laughs> so we were like, <laughs> but we're pretty much like putting our foot down and we're gonna stop it now because we don't want it to happen to the babies. I don't wanna, I don't want the babies to start crying in the middle of the night and me for me to like wake up and think, oh, are they crying just because they woke themselves up or because there's a bug crawling on them? Gross. She okay? Yeah, she's just hungry. Oh. Like, I want to be at, at ease at night and all throughout the day, too. I want to be able to put my baby down on the floor so she can crawl on her crawling mat and not be, like, thinking, oh, is a bug going to crawl on? And, you know, so that's, like, <clears throat> So we decided to make this video just because we're very new to this. I've never had to deal with bugs before. Like, I've, I've known that... During the summer, like all the years I've lived at my dad's house, that we'll get like ants sometimes, and but I've never had a spider issue as bad as this. Like literally three big spiders in the last three days, and the cockroach was just it for me. I was like, no, this can't happen. So we have been doing some research on the bugs. My mom brought us some raid, so we've been spraying around the house. But we decided that we're gonna go and purchase a spider bug bomb today. And we're going to let those off in this main house and in our garage. And we're going to get a lot of plastic to cover up our bed and the crib and stuff. Give me a second. So the tricky part about this whole situation is I've been trying to do research on like pesticides and bug bombs um, and babies because, you know, like the chemicals are really harsh. They're not good for babies. So I didn't find a lot of information at all, actually, which kind of sucked because like, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that have a bug issue during the summer and then they have children at the same time, which you have to care for. Because, I mean, if I come back into the house and there's, like, light pesticide in the air, I might get sick at the worst, but I don't know what ha could happen to my baby at the worst. Based off of the small research we found online and off of common sense, we decided that we're just going to plastic wrap everything the babies touch. We're going to bring all of their bottles and eating supplies with us to my dad's house because we're going to spend the night at that house instead. Just 
to like let the pesticides roam for as long as they can indoors before we open up the windows and let it out. Now we're just gonna pretty much plastic wrap everything that is, you know, kind of iffy to us if it should be exposed. Bring all of our sheets, bring all of our blankets with us, and then at the end of the day, by tomorrow, we're gonna be cleaning up countertops, which is recommended everywhere where you eat cleaning countertops, cleaning the baby's high chairs, and yeah, so we're just kind of going based off of common sense right now, and we're going to be showing you guys our experience with it, because, I mean, bugs are an issue, and it sucks, but it's even more of an issue for us, because there's right orange groves right outside our door, so bugs will always be an issue, but we're going to have to do whatever we can to try to keep them out. So that's going to be our experience. Sorry that this is a really long intro. There's just like a lot that I had to say. And I hope you guys enjoy and I hope that you guys gain a lot of knowledge from this. We're just, this is our first time ever doing this. So we're going to be, you know, showing you guys our experience and I hope you guys learn something from it. Okay, so we're going to finish up cleaning and then we'll show you guys the finished product of the house. Everything that we cleaned up, decided to take up, take with us. And then we'll take you to the store when we buy our plastic wrap, our bomb and every other braid that we're gonna be buying. So, we'll see you guys there, bye. Okay, hey guys, I've been spraying. It's probably been an hour since we checked in. Um, so all we've done so far is we just started packing everything into bags that we wanna take to my dad's house to make sure it's safe, make sure to cover up anything that you would wear or use on your body just because that's chemicals that's gonna be sprayed all over it. I've just been spraying pesticides and let me tell you it is freaking disgusting. So I was spraying pesticides around the house to prevent them from coming in the house and I found a freaking two, two freaking black widows and I'm so disgusted. That right there is a black widow. If you can't tell I'm sorry I'm not getting any closer to it as you can see this is a real issue for us because like I said you walk right outside orange groves orange groves orange groves orange groves everywhere so that means a lot of bugs and sadly that means poisonous bugs like black widows so I'm <laughs> we got to keep them out we got to do what we can to keep them out we're not going to let them win um, last night I was literally like so scared I was like I'm not living here anymore there's bugs everywhere but you know you just have to like do what you can. You can't let them things win. You can't let the bugs win. So we're gonna kill them. We're gonna make sure to make it clear. No, you cannot be staying around our house or inside of our house. Never, no. So, if you can't tell, I'm like a little freaked out right now because I saw that black widow. Because there was one literally in our house on the baby's high chair. What my mice? Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit because one of the babies just woke up. Hi. So the babies are hanging out. Hello, babies. Just a relaxing. Just a relaxing. So I finished spraying around the perimeter of the house. I still have to spray the ceilings, but I think I'm going to do that when the babies are gone. Just because I just feel really like weird about spraying pesticides when the babies are in here. So I only spread the floor because they don't go on the floor unless if they're crawling, but I obviously won't do that today. So, not crawling, but tummy time. So, um, just wanted to show you, this is the container I'm using for spraying around the house. And it is pretty big lots of fluid in there all around the house all around the outside of the house that's when I saw that black widow and now I'm scared to go back outside but <laughs> I hate bugs I really hate bugs like <laughs> like I hate bugs so I sprayed some corners of the ceiling in the garage but I won't do the house until the babies are at my dad's. Yeah, so pretty much I'm waiting for Fabian. He's at the house. Like, that is literally one of the spiders that we killed yesterday. Look at how big that thing is. Yeah, so it hasn't been fun. So blankets, blankets. We need to figure out what to do with those. 
Um, we're probably planning, these are the couches that we're bringing in. If you haven't seen them on the vlog yet because they've been outside and we've been waiting for a shampooer. We shampooed it yesterday, so now we're going to have to bomb the place and figure out how to cover this couch up. Hi, Mama. This is sweet. So sweet. So sweet. So depending on the size of the bomb you get, usually you're not supposed to come back inside your house for like two to four hours. And just because we have babies, we're just gonna spend the night at my dad's house just because I feel like it's safer that way. And I would just feel weird having like all of these like chemicals in the air for all these hours and then like bringing my babies back in the house. So we're here at Home Depot. What are you doing with the tape? Nothing, I'm <laughs> just pretending to look at stuff. <laughs> okay, guys, pretend so like I, know what I'm doing. I know you were just looking at the tape, like, yes, I need some of this. No, 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 no. honestly, <laughs> this is probably the best tape there is out there because when you when you put it on and you paint over it and you peel it off, it doesn't really take off. Oh, yeah, I've seen that before in yeah, painting commercials. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's good stuff. Okay, so we talked to someone about what bomb to get. They considered the, I mean, always in the way, dude. They, <laughs> They decided on helping us out by telling us to get the hot shot. Um, initially, they saw the babies and they recommended this one because of the fact that there is an odor neutralizer in it, I guess. So it's safe, safer for babies, I guess. I don't know. So we decided to get two of these and it comes with four cans. And so... Yes, so we got two boxes of these, which is eight cans, because we're pretty sure we're gonna have to end up doing this again. Then we got plastic to cover up our beds and anything. So this plastic, you just roll it off at the, the side, desired size. You just snip it off and then just cover it up and then you can tape it up if you want, but you don't have to. Yes, what he said. And then we also got, can you get me the concentrate? It usually comes in a gallon where you pretty much spray the bugs, like I was using earlier in the video, but they told us that this one was stronger, except they didn't have the gallon, they only had the concentrate, which is cheaper, because this will make uh, two and a half gallons, they said. Yeah. So we got this one because we're running out of our other gallon, and we want something strong. And then also, we got, what is this? Tell them what it is. It's I like, forget. It's like a silicone for the for the molding that goes in the bottom. Yeah, so we have a lot of cracks in our molding. Um, so and the caulking gun, yeah. caulking gun, whatever you call it. So we found a big spider under the molding, so we decided we have to we have to get that fixed. So Fabian is gonna do that for us with this stuff. So I would say. that's it. That's all we need. That's pretty much it. As far as I understand, I think that's it. But you know, I really like this tape. <laughs> Look at it. Really considering this tape. We don't need that tape. Okay, we'll see you guys back at the house, but that's all. Okay, hello, babies. Um, it is... Wait. Change the lighting real quick. It is about... What time is it? 10.53 at night. We had to help my mom move a TV to her house. So, Ooh! just kidding. So it took up a lot of our time. So now we are here, ready to kill these bugs. So this is the process so far. Oh my goodness, lighting. So boom, this is our bed. Cribs are on top of it. Our couch, our little couch. A table. See the baby's cribs. Their rug is gone. Just their diaper changer. Fabian's clothes. So there have been no bugs in our uh, drawers, thank God. So we just decided to keep them closed. It's not like we have a bug infestation going on like crazy. It's just, it's just that one bug that got on camera. It's just the fact that it's been so hot the last three days. That it's just like boom spider season, boom every bug season. So, just especially like, since we live in a, a grove. Yeah. So as you've seen, right outside our doors is groves everywhere. 
So a lot of bugs want to come inside for shelter, which is not fun for us. So that's why we were bombing the place. So what we've done so far is that. And I've just been going around unplugging everything. Apparently, if you don't unplug, like, all your, all your electronics from the walls, you could start a fire. So this is, like, a really serious thing. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. Starting a fire would be no bueno, so... Wow, there's literally a bug right there. There's literally a, a pincher bug. You won't be there tomorrow! <laughs> I know. I know. We'll see him on the floor, like, on this dead tomorrow. Don't I'm sorry, we'll, Bug. We'll give him a proper burial. We're giving you bugs plenty of time to evacuate the house, but since none of you guys want to leave, we got to do what we got to do. We gave you a warning. Yep. So We've we'll been talking about it all day, so if you're still here, it ain't a problem. So we, we'll, we'll get back to you with our next update. It is 10.53, well, we'll tell you what time it is when we come back. Okay guys, I'm back with another update. Everything is covered. Everything is unplugged except for the fridge. And this little guy over here. So many pincher bugs. Okay, so this is all working out great until these little directions told us that you need to unplug a pilot light. And sadly, there is one of those inside of this water heater and my dad is already asleep. It is 11 o'clock. I don't want to have to call him and wake him up to help us with it because even the instructions said um, if you need help with, un up with unplugging it, call uh, your gas utility or management company if you need assistance with it. So this looks like it's going to be harder than you think. So the th reason why it's so important is you could literally start, this, this thing could literally start a fire if you don't have all like electricity and like all of, you know, everything unplugged from your house. So because of the fact it's late, we think that we are just going to have to get help from my dad tomorrow, which sucks because we really wanted this to be done tonight and then come back home tomorrow. But as you can hear, the baby's already fussing and we're just like, eh, we'll do it tomorrow. We wish we could have done it all today, but, but it looks like we're gonna have to do it tomorrow. Yeah, we have to finish it tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. Hi. She's so cute. It's Penelope, she's talking to me. We have to start. We have to finish it tomorrow. She's waiting for me in her little car seat. We have to finish it tomorrow. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. So cute. So we are going to continue our process tomorrow. Typically, I don't really believe that this is like a two-day process. I think... I think we definitely could have gotten this done if we didn't have to help my mom, but that's okay. We'll just finish it tomorrow, and then I guess we're going to spend two nights at my dad's house then, because even though you only have to be out of the house for like two to four hours, I would feel comfortable coming back into the house in two to four hours, but I don't feel comfortable bringing the bringing the babies in the house after two to four hours. So that's why I would like want a night to just not be in here and let the windows open so we can like get the, the chemicals out. Cause that is one of the steps. You open your doors afterwards for about, yeah, you turn on your doors afterwards and let it air out for two hours. So, so that's all for tonight and we'll see you when we continue again tomorrow. Hi, Bebez. Hi, Bebez. It's the next day. It is time for us to finally set off these bombs. So, yesterday we didn't set off the bombs because we were freaked out about this pilot light that we had to shut off. Apparently, 
Um, you start a fire if you don't shut off. Yeah, so if you don't if you don't shut off all the electrical, you could you could possibly start a fire. So we had to shut off the fridge, our oven, and your water heater. You're supposed to shut off, but apparently since we don't have a gas uh, fed water heater, it's electric. We didn't have to worry about that. So. That's why we waited until the very next day to do it, but... So that was our bad. But now we are finally ready. So we um, have our cabinets open. We kind of separated anything that was um, possible for us to wipe down again, just to make sure it's super clean. Um, we covered up our bed because you can't necessarily wipe down the mattresses and stuff. And we covered the air, the AC, covered the baby stuff. Even though it's, we could wipe it down, Fabian felt um, uneasy about leaving this um, exposed to chemicals. And yes, our, everything is open, open, that we felt necessary to keep open. All our clothes are in here. Anything that's in here we didn't mind because we're going to rewash. Um, but yeah. We are going to have our bombs on chairs. You're supposed to have it in, on a chair in the middle of the room. And like this bomb right here in the middle of the room. And yeah, you just pretty much set it off away from your face. And we will be back to give you an update on it tomorrow morning. Um, you only have to stay out of your house for like two to four hours um, typically, but... Because we have babies, we just felt. Ready? We I'm ready. I'm excited for this. Yeah, we just felt because we have babies that we would rather stay at the house for like 24 hours just to be safe. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna get these bombs going. We're tired of all these bugs. We're tired of all these spiders. We're tired of all all the bugs. So Fabian's gonna do the one in the house. Mark, it's set. Bombs away. Okay. Go ahead. Move, 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 move. Goodbye, bugs. Good riddance to you. Well, I feel bad, you know, because they're creatures of God, but. <laughs> yeah, but I don't need those creatures biting, biting my, my kids. kids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, so that is it for the day. We will be giving we will be giving you guys an update on the bombs when we go check them out tomorrow morning. But thanks for watching. See you guys in a bit. Hey, Babas. What's up, Babas? So we have come back to the house. This is day three of our entire bug exterminating procedure and there are bugs everywhere and when we mean everywhere we mean everywhere like <sighs> nasty 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 except for that one I feel that one. Oh. nasty <coughs> nasty nasty and inside the house bug bug bugs that spider there are a lot of bugs on the floor this is great look at the bathroom what way more oh my god there's so many bugs in here oh my god that thing is looking like a spider oh my god one even fell into the toilet that's a spider. This is so gross. This is so gross. Bug. Oh my goodness. Another bug. Bugs, bugs, bugs. Bugs. What's that? Bug. Everywhere. Bugs, 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 bugs. Bugs, 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 bugs. Well, that's disgusting. Oh my goodness, even the kitchen. Can't forget about those kitchen bugs. Kitchen bugs. 
There are so many picture bugs in here. <coughs> so little bugs. Yes, so that was our whole nasty bug extermination process. And gosh, after seeing all these dead bugs in here, I'm really glad we did it because I didn't even notice that there were that many bugs in here. There's so many bugs in here. That's so gross. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm happy we did it. Um, as you saw, we covered up a bunch of stuff in the house just because we have babies. We wanted to be extra careful. The only mistake that I made throughout this whole process was you're supposed to take any plants with you and I accidentally left my plant in here. So I'm expecting that thing to die any day now because it got sprayed with so much chemicals and nastiness. But yeah, that's it, we finished. Um, typically a lot of people don't cover up a lot of stuff except for like their TVs because I know your TVs can get ruined if you don't cover them up. And yeah, that was our whole process. You have anything to say Fabian? Huh? you have anything to say? About what? About the process? Yeah. It was actually kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. Was like that? setting up the bombs and then watching how they worked. It was new to me, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, because I didn't even know what this was. I told my parents that we found spiders and they told us what to get. Like so they both said right away, you gotta bomb the place. Yeah. I was like, oh, dang. You have yeah. to get a bug bomb. Is that a thing? I had no idea. There's so many bugs in here. Goodness gracious. Ugh. And now to put the house back together. Yeah. So, yes, that's it for our video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This took three days for some reason. Typically, you could all, you can do this all in one day, but because of the fact that we had kids, we decided to make it a two-day process, but it turned into a three-day process because of the pilot lights. But honestly, I would say if you have babies and kids to just try to stay somewhere else for the night, or if you can't, set off the bombs in the early morning and just be out of the house for the whole day. Yeah, like use that time to go to like Disneyland or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. And then when you're tired from Disneyland and you come back home, you can clean up the whole house from bugs. But see, the thing <laughs> is, when you set off the bombs, you have to wait for an hour or two and then come back and open up windows and yeah. let all the fumes get out. Because by that time, everyone, everything's dead by then. Okay, but that's it for our video. We hope you guys enjoyed. We hope that you guys learned a lot of stuff from it. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, bye, bye. Adios, amigos. Woo!